Good morning, everyone. This is Darren Redmond from FHT Sports. By now, you've probably heard, and I know you have, about the big upcoming match on the Smurf turf up in Boise, Idaho, against Boise State. Fresno State will be taking their number 14 college power pole rankings and looking to defend that. I find it amazing that there were only 32,000. I couldn't believe that there were people just like jumping up, doing ticket tape parades, dancing, you know, in place. About 32,000 people being at uh, Bulldog Stadium. It's nice, but the place holds 42,000. We're having a memorable season. Coach Tedford's just doing this amazing job. We have some amazing talent on offense. Keyshawn Johnson will be going to the NFL. Write that down. He will be another Devontae Adams. Our defense, small, but so quick. So quick. Devastating schemes. They're constantly moving. This, this team, this defensive team has not lost a blip since losing a defensive coordinator from last season and, you know, elevating their linebacker coach to the defensive coordinator position. By the way, that's something that a lot of people don't talk about, but they should if they know anything about sports about the sport of football, and I don't mean that in any way with shade toward people, so. But, wow, you have a new defensive coordinator, stayed within the system. I myself asked Coach Tedford about that during the spring game, and he was very confident. And um, it turns out to be true. Our defense is devastating. A little suspect right up the middle. You run ISO block, a little suspect that way. But with lateral speed, there really is not a better defense that you can find. And uh, unless you go to the top two or three teams, and, and even then, you know what, let, let, you know, let's uh, buckle up the chin strap, let's go. The big fear for a lot of Fresno people who are fans is 62-52, 62-52, 52 And if you roll your eyes and go, all right, 2013, yes, we lost to San Jose State. Yeah, you did. And it was terrible. It ripped the heart out of the fan. It's like finding a roach in your water when you go to a nice, fancy French restaurant. Restaurant. Yeah, that's what it's like. So, let's beat Boise on the Smurf turf. No, well, this is good. A lot to build from. Still was a great season. And then go to the Hawaii Bowl, the Las Vegas Bowl, yet again. Nobody wants to go to New Mexico Bowl anymore. It's nice. It feels good. Okay, let's have a clap, a little golf clap. Well done. But this team really has the talent and the coach, Tedford, coach of the year, without question. What he's doing, the turnaround in two years. This team is on the cusp. There better be 42,000 people in that, in, in that at Bulldog Stadium for the next home game. Beat Boise on their own turf, a statement game. Beat San Diego State, win the conference championship. Win Mountain West Championship and go and see what happens if you can play one of those major bowl games and not have to go to the New Mexico Bowl. It's a juice box. It's a participation award. It's a 500 record gets you a bowl game. Now, we know it's not easy to get a 500 record in college football, but we're better than that. Coach Tedford has this team flying. So let's hope. And let's make sure that uh, this team goes out there and uh, doesn't have another Minnesota bomb. Can you imagine if we would have actually won that Minnesota game? Where we'd be right now. There wouldn't be a problem with UCF. And again, you can't dwell on a negative. you got to put it behind. But when you're doing some analysis, you've got to look at that stuff. Because they'll hold that against uh, Fresno State, uh, trying to kick them out of a, a major bowl. And they'll say, well, they lost to Minnesota, and Minnesota has a terrible year, and how did that happen? Happens all the time, folks. Michigan's in the top four right now. And, yeah, they lost to a top, the, the, the Notre Dame the third team. But they're not undefeated. You show me, you know, head-to-head -head some of these teams that UCF has played or Fresno State has played. But Fresno, handle your business. Go out there and have a dominating performance. I'll take a win, but go have a dominating performance on the Smurf turf. And then go and wax San Diego State at home. 42,000 people, I'm expecting to see you there. This is Darren Redman for Redman's Wrap-Up. If you think I'm wrong, tell me why. Bring your facts. Don't just regurgitate something that you heard somewhere else because when I counter you and ask you to delve a little deeper, please be able to. And I, I say that with uh, no ego. 
Just that's how iron sharpens iron, right? That's how we get better. Let's have a civil conversation. Be passionate about it. Darren Redmond from Redmond's Wrap Up from FHT Sports. Please remember the Hockey Hall of Fresno Hockey Hall of Fame dinner is tomorrow night at the Ramada. We have well over 100 tickets already sold to see the hockey heroes of the past. The movie is sold out. That was part of the dinner ticket for the first 100 people as a free incentive. So, FHT, Hockey Hall of Fame, tomorrow night. Go see Daryl Lauer, Glenn Hines, Esco Cipolla, Reno Cipolla, Jay Johnson. Get into the Fresno Hockey Hall of Fame. It's amazing. Fresno is having a Hall of Fame dinner, and there's never been a hockey player in Fresno Hall of Fame. So we're taking care of that. This is Darren Redman Reds Wrap Up. Remember, Fresno State, let's go win big against Boise on that Smurf turf. Let's own it. Let's make it Fresno State North.